Hi, Eric here. William Samai and I have returned to Cambodia and gotten a brand new apartment. Now that apartment is where I'm standing right now and with this wonderful view from the balcony, but our apartment is not complete until we have cleaned it up and so I need to go out and buy a few cleaning supplies. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you on that little journey to buy cleaning supplies and I'm gonna also show you just how money works in Cambodia because it's a little bit more complicated than somewhere like the USA. So I'm gonna show you the different ways that you can buy and pay uh, at a typical market in Cambodia. And if you do enjoy this video or like this channel, please like and subscribe. And let's go. If you're in Cambodia, you're largely going to be paying with cash at the markets. And so the best way that you can do that is to take out cash from an ATM. And the best ATM, bar none in Cambodia, is ABA. The ABA is the ATM that you want to look for. It'll work with local Cambodian cards and pretty much every foreign card that is a global card that you can imagine. And, well, there's an ABA right there. So all you have to do is look for this bright red and dark blue logo. It says ABA. And so when you're here, you can get uh, all kinds of different money out. Once you're at the ATM and you've put in your card and your PIN, now you've got a choice, which is, should you select Khmer Real or should you select US dollars? And here's the answer, the definitive answer. It doesn't matter. All the Khmer's will take real, all the Khmer's will take dollars, they'll take them equally. Just pick whichever one you want. If you're buying cheap small things, it probably would be better for you to use real. If you're using more expensive things, then uh, one dollar is worth about 4,100 real. And so it becomes easier to carry large amounts of money. But let's take a look. I think um, I'm just going to grab uh, maybe 100,000 real. That's uh, it's about $25. Yes, I do confirm that. <laughs> and so there it came out. It came out at these two 50,000 real bills. So with the same ATM, I can also click switch to US dollars and then I can get whatever US dollars I want. Um, I don't think I need a hundred dollars of anything, so I'm going to go with uh, maybe uh, forty dollars. Oh, only one hundred dollar notes are available. Okay, sometimes that happens. I don't want any one hundred dollar notes. Okay, so some ATMs will give you um, plenty of twenties uh, and tens and stuff like that. This one does not. I'll do another two hundred thousand. There's no way I'm going to need more than fifty dollars today to shop. Card first, very smart. Cash, done. So there it is, that's how you get money out of an ABA ATM, like any other ATM, except you have two currencies. Very, very easy to do. Um, the ABA ATMs are ubiquitous. They're kind of like 7-Elevens um, in Thailand. They're practically everywhere. So you're never far from one. So don't worry about uh, not having money. It's actually uh, pretty easy, so. Now that I've got my money for my shopping, it's just a matter of crossing the street without dying, which looks like, you know, you're really likely to die when you cross the street. But in fact, uh, the Cambodians are frankly quite used to uh, all kinds of uh, crazy people like me jumping out in the, in the middle of the street without much warning. So they will generally slow down. Uh, I'm not suggesting that you should be uh, uncareful you should still be cautious uh, whenever you are uh, crossing the road in Cambodia as with any other country so let's go into the market and find what I need and what I need specifically is a mop a broom a dustpan a uh, drying rack let's go see how hard it is to find them I don't think it's going to be difficult because because Russian market is a place where you can buy anything you can buy tools, uh, motorcycle parts, you can buy cleaning supplies, clothes, food, there's a fresh market, you can buy uh, literally anything that you can imagine uh, here at this market. So let's go buy some of those things because I can't imagine exactly what I need, no problem. 
here I've come across a shop that sells some of the things I need. I need uh, a dustpan, which is right here, and I need a broom, and Simi likes uh, this type of broom right here. So let me grab a broom. Okay, a broom. And this one right here. For these two right here, okay, uh, how much? 15,000 real. 16,000 real, okay. Okay, he says 16,000 real, so I'll give him 20,000 real. And then he'll give me back 4,000 and change. Oh, okay, you give me back 5,000, I'll quit. So you should know that in the year I've been in Cambodia, no one has ever tried to scam me out of my change. So you don't have to worry about that. It has never happened to me. So great. So mission partially accomplished. I have a broom and I have a pan. Very good. Okay, Akun Akun. Thank you, thank you. Well, I rounded this corner here and right here on this corner is everything else that I need except for the microwave that I forgot to mention. Um, here is the type of circular mop that Simi likes, or the mop pan. Here is the, the mop that will go with it. And then right here is a, is a metal drying rack, which is exactly what we need. So, perfect. Uh, excuse me, how much for the mop bucket and the mop? Uh, that's four, uh-huh. 16, so $20. Yeah. Um, so my question is, can you take ABA? Yeah. ABA, okay. If you want to pay by ABA, direct transfer in Cambodia, it's really easy. Typically, people will just give you a QR code to scan, which I am gonna scan right now. Sometimes they'll give you a number and you type that in, same, same, makes no difference. And then you just type in the correct amount. This is gonna be $21, right? $21, hit pay now. Type in your PIN and there you go, it's done. I have already paid. They have already received the money in the bank. So easy. Uh, this is what the ABA scan cards look like and you can see the ABA logo right there. And uh, all over this market you see the ABA sticker just uh, sitting right there and that means that this vendor will accept ABA and a lot of them do. So it makes it very, very easy. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Alkun. While I'm waiting for them to bag my stuff up, uh, I just want to show you the, just a little bit of the cool stuff. Like look at all these, these grains and, and nuts and everything. Look at this, look at this. And these aren't like fake bags. Like I've seen at some markets where the top has some seeds, but like the bottom is all like filled with cardboard and stuff and it's fake. This is completely full of, uh, of these real grains. These look like dates over here. There's pecans, there's uh, almonds, there's all kinds of great stuff. Look at this, all walnuts. This is just one stand, one shop, and it just goes on forever in every direction. So, like, uh, there's popcorn. In here you got some restaurants and stuff, uh, and it's quite close to a fresh market, which is down there, so you can buy all your fresh fruits and vegetables and meats. Uh, you, you got your snacks. Some of these snacks are from Europe uh, or America. Uh, you got a lot of these Thai products, like Mama. Uh, but yeah, here's one of these ABA signs, so they'll accept ABA, uh, among others. Look at all this great stuff. You can get your hair done, for heaven's sake. It's just a hub of activity. Look at all this great stuff. And now I live within easy walking distance of Russian market. So happy. I, I'm going to have to go out tomorrow to get a microwave, just because apparently this is one thing that is out of stock in the Russian market. Hello! This did not, I mean this really surprised me that they didn't have this because I thought you could buy everything. But uh, I think what I'm going to have to do is take a separate tour just of the Russian market for you. Uh, but that will be a long video. It might have to be in more than one part. So I think I'm going to go collect all my stuff from these very, very friendly people who were so nice to me and let me record. Okay! Ready again, thank you. Well, I've managed. Ooh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Well, I've managed to get everything that I need. Uh, it's not easy carrying it all and holding a gimbal, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. And uh, that was a, a very easy and productive uh, shopping trip. I got everything done in 30 minutes or less. Uh, once I was at the market, I was able to get everything I needed. And I think the total price now for a broom, a dustpan, a mop, a bucket, and a pretty big clothes drying rack. So it was all, after everything, just $25 for all that. Very easy. We're talking about a big drying rack, like, uh, like three feet wide, mid of metal. So, so everything uh, was, was a great price and everyone was very friendly. You saw just how friendly those people were. So come to Cambodia and uh, patronize these fine people at the Russian market. They're all super nice and helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and come back for more.